Hey there, my name is Madeline Bazane, and today we are refinishing this solid oak kitchen table. So I started by disassembling the table, setting it on a tarp, and cleaning it with some simple green to get off the dirt, the grime, and all the grossness. So this table is pretty gross, and it took two or three rounds of scrubbing the tabletop and the base to get it all nice and clean. <laughs> I also forgot about the furniture seat for stabilizing or for leveling out the table so I had to take those off in the middle of cleaning and scrub it down and a little bit more that base was so grimy and gross. <laughs> grit sandpaper to start to take the finish off the tabletop. Um, I realized a little bit later on that there were some sawhorses lying over there so I grabbed them and propped them up so I could not be breaking my back trying to sand down this whole table. So once we got the table secured we went right on back to sanding. <laughs> So the 80 grit sandpaper is rough enough to take off the finish of the shiny top of the table and then I'll go back in later and sand it down with a 120 to make it really smooth and ready for painting or priming or staining or whatever you're doing to your furniture piece. After I'm done sanding, I take a wet cloth and just wipe down all the sand well, I guess sawdust um, and any other bits that need to be wiped down. I then took the table base and sanded down some of the leg and the flat parts um, just to get it roughed up enough for adhesive um, or for the paint to stick. Then moving the table out of the way so I had more room to work, I used a um, rag to wipe down the base of the table and got it ready for priming. So I primed it using Rust-Oleum primer spray paint on the table base and on the tabletop sides. Um, this was a super easy way to prime the whole piece in a couple of minutes um, using this Canis primer spray paint. Highly recommend. <laughs> be perfect but you want to make sure there's no large areas of the wood showing through. And then I take the um, top of the tabletop and flip it upside down so that I could prime the sides of it to be painted later to match the base. My neighbors have the nicest little orange tree. Like look at that. Look at all those oranges. So nice. Now I'm using a Valspar furniture paint in white to paint the base of the table. It's a really sturdy and durable paint, the um, Valspar furniture paint. It's also water soluble, so it's super easy to clean your brushes later on, uh, just in like mild soap and water. And I did two, three coats on the base of the table, and then I did two coats around the tabletop. I decided to stain the tabletop using the Varathane wood stain in espresso. Um, so I just used a rag and had gloves on, stained the whole tabletop, and then made sure to go around the edges and be really careful to stain the beveled edge as well. Then I did a whole coat of stain and then let it sit for a couple of minutes and then wipe it off to see what the color we have. So I uh, decided that I don't like how the stain looks and I went to Lowe's, bought some paint and we're gonna sand that off and redo it. 
So now that I've decided I hate the wood stain, I'm going in with the 80 grit sandpaper again to rough up some of the top. Try to get some of that stain off, although it was still a little wet. Wipe it down, and then we're going in with some more Valspar furniture paint. Um, this color is Ebony Field. So it's going to be like a dark gray. I wanted to have a very similar color to the espresso wood stain, um, but not have the wood stain or the wood itself, the grain, show through. So that's how I ended up with the ebony field. And I did a coat of paint, sanded down, and then a second coat of paint on the tabletop, and then any touch-up spots later on. The first coat of paint is on. I'm going in with a 120 grit sandpaper and just doing a quick buffing um, to even out any bunch clumps or dust particles that may have fallen. And then doing a second coat of paint on the tabletop just to get a nice even coat of paint. <laughs> space to dry without any dust falling on it um, and then do a polyurethane top coat for sealing and for extra durability so we just took a foam brush pour it on rub it around and now it's time for the grand reveal oh